Welcome to problem number 32 from the August 2014 Algebra Regents exam. Uh, a student was given the equation x squared plus 6x minus 13 equals 0 to solve by completing the square. The first step that was written is shown below. So it looks like what they did was they took this minus 13 and moved it over to the right hand side of the equation by adding 13. So that makes sense. The next step in the student's process was x squared plus 6x plus c equals 13 plus c. So we can see what they're doing. <laughs> see, you get it? They're, <laughs> uh, they're adding another number, c, to both sides of the equation. Um, state the value of c that creates a perfect square trinomial and explain how the value of c is determined. Now, uh, so just a quick recap. To complete the square, when we have a polynomial in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, uh, what you need to do is find out your b value, take half of it, and then square that number. And then that's the number that you would, um, well, if everything was over to one side of the, of the equation, like if it was like this, you would add both add and subtract that number if it was all on the one side of the equation. And that makes sense because you don't you can't really change the value of the equation by adding and subtracting the same thing. Now this one's a little bit different because they are um, adding uh, the value to both sides of the equation. And that's also uh, permissible. That's totally fine. In fact, the way they have it set up is in the format of ax squared plus bx um, equals uh, well, I guess let's call it C. And then, um, so what they did was they found this um, special term. Oh, sorry, AX squared plus BX. And then they added it to both sides like this. And that's totally fine. That's just a different way of doing it. So let's find out what the actual number is. Um, our B term in this problem is positive 6. So if we take 6 half it, and then square it, that would be equal to 3 squared, which is 9. So in this problem, our, this the value of c is 9. And I think the explanation we gave here, where you took 6, divided by 2, and squared it, um, is a valid enough explanation of how it was. we found the value of 9. All right, and that's all for this video. Hope it was helpful, and thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.